This session that you want to do today, there is a higher rank which is more than me. You are hearing me? There is a higher rank which is more than a, an upper hand. Laying my hand on you will be enough for you. Your life will be changed. Whatever problem that you are going to. Just say the supernatural. The supernatural. The supernatural. Ah, I would like to greet the first comers who came for the first day in this house. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus. And I would like to greet the single mothers in this house as well as the youth. Single mother, did you listen to the teaching I gave yesterday? Yes. Are you changing, guys? Yes. You sure? Yes. You sure, sure? Yes. There are two departments which can give us problems when it comes to obeying what God wants. Two classes, two groups of people. Number one, youth. Number one is youth. And number two, civil matters. Hey! These two, they are like a, a bad combination. Hey, I'm not going to tell you what. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall be truth. It's very difficult for a youth to properly follow Jesus as he is supposed to be followed. Today, it's today in the morning, I was checking something on my. <laughs> I have I had another girlfriend when I was in the world. Right? Are you listening? Yes, yeah? yes. So, <laughs> right? On, on Facebook today, she sent a message, right? <laughs> when she sent a message, I was shocked that she is still alive. Oh. It's you. She said, I hate that you are now an apostle. I said, I, I was. <laughs> I was. She said, okay, I, I, I need some help on some certain areas. I said, no, it's not a problem. I don't care. You are an ex or what. I, I no longer live in the past. I live, I live in the present. I live in the future. I was born again. So, Come, let's talk. What, what, what are you talking about? Then God began to, to bring something to me. <laughs> Which is this, this person, when I was in the world, right? She used to go to church. Shall I was here, but this person ended up changing. I used to know that she goes to church, even if you could check on her profile. You could see with the church, Jesus up, Jesus up, Jesus down, Jesus in, Jesus out. <laughs> but he... <laughs> so, it doesn't matter how much their walls on Facebook are decorated with Jesus. These people, they have another life they live privately, which is Amen. different from what they post. Amen. Amen. What is the time when you want to say what church you are? Oh, and on Sunday after church, she would come for an appointment to a guy who is drunk. So you I know you. Most of you here you appear to be good and innocent. Mother like, she not so what is wrong with you. guys, I know you. You guys, most of the times you are not believers of Christ, you you are church boys. Yes. Church boys. You really know that you have a life which is different. We are even, I, 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 I even said, which I'm even embarrassed to, to, to point at you, this is my daughter. Because your life from this platform and your life on Facebook. So I'm going to see a picture of it. Look at me again. This is what you do. Here you are like Maria and Sandy. Hello, Father. Hello, Father. When you go outside, you are taking pictures. The first thing that you want to show them is your baby. 
If I have somebody here who is sending me a friend request and you are putting those kind of pictures, I want you to stop. We don't pay like that. Salvation must come in full capacity. You think our poor never know. These people, that is why they spend plenty years in church when they reap nothing out of Jesus. You must so teach a language. And when, when you preach, you preach, and you preach, you preach, you preach. These people, they will, they will be thinking that you are preaching about the next door. You can meet this one on the time level. You, I begin to meet Jesus. I said, ah, but I remember those days. It was, hey, hey. you know, those kind of girls who will be sending verse after verse in the morning, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want it. Afternoon, hey, this one. A hey, church settings, church what? Church settings. Ah, 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 ah. These people live a private life which is different from the life that they present. Same, same with sin matters. Most of them, they fail to be normal people because they look down on themselves, thinking that I been a mother but without a husband. It's an open gate to a sinful life. How many single mothers here, even if, if, I, if I, I, I can ask, if you are a single mother, it means that you don't have your husband. Right? Right? Yes. That's what it means, right? Yes. But if I think, now, 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 if I, I can ask the Holy Spirit to pick up for me single mothers who are sexually active, you'll be shocked. Should we have just hold on the person? <laughs> <laughs> and when it's time for worship, you see them like this. <laughs> I asked 
we are blessed, we can love a person without having any other extra connection. So when I begin to love you, you girls, don't confuse it. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm sleeping with my pictures on you. Apostle, apostle. When I love you, I do love. I'm telling you, I do love. Passionately, I do love. I can tell you with this person, I love it. Without any extra attachment. Proper love, straight as it is. That's what I did with that daughter. Then she said, she began to say, Father, you know, I need another chance. Father, you know what I did was wrong. Then I began to feel the pain of a crying sheep, which is in a pit. I heard her cry. I said, Father, I'm asking. I want to come. She is one of those few people who came to my, you saw her, right? Who came to my place. On, it was on what? Mm. First, I said, come. I don't usually allow people to come into my territory. I don't want people to know how I live. <laughs> so I said, you want? You want to come? She came. She began to tell me, my father, I know I, I did wrong. Yes, my heart was heavy. I forgave him. He said, okay, for my side, I'm now trying to be okay with you. I want to give you another chance in life so that you can try to make it up in life. Then I realized with the failure of plenty single mothers, the failure of plenty single mothers, even when they have Christ, is on men. It's on men. Men will keep on destroying you until you have another fourth baby. And then some which is another way, imagine the child that you have. I can eat my own home. The words of Sarodina, who am I? I said, I don't even have this baby. You can take some pictures. I said, Father, Jesus, then let me teach the baby to walk, but he went with the baby. I'm not sure what I'm not. So, plenty of single mothers in the youth, they are failures. The same pattern is either alcohol, men, clubbing, after church. Right now, if you ask plenty of single mothers, they look at their children and say, okay, I have this child, number one, number two, number three. So if I can't have plenty of boyfriends, how am I going to pay for their school fees and so forth? Then they will begin to move away from their Christ. More men, more men. Upon more men, there is another child coming, fatherless again. Your problem is not for men. That's gene too much. I'm praying for single mothers who are like Ma 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 Maria Magdalene, who was casted out demons by the Lord Jesus, and you followed him until the death of the Lord Jesus. And when the Lord Jesus rose up from the dead, the first person was Maria Magdalene. But imagine. But if Jesus can, 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 can want to come to your house, which I'm a photo. My photo after photo after photo. Because now that's my photo. Just the high man. Your problem that you are having right now. People are calling you Bana. People are calling you names because it was caused by a man. And the thing that you pray for every day is a man. The thing that you fast for every day is a man. So your distraction is a man. You have two heads, you can work, you have five senses, you can think about other things and begin to work for your child. Without side effects. Who said being a single mother is a promotion to sin? Who said so? Don't be foolish twice. Some of you here, you can't sleep checking on baby daddy. How is he? How is he? He's not even taking care of the baby. He's not even. Oh, I'm all going to Amen. Hello. Hello. A normal person, a normal one, a normal one, right? A normal person who is not an animal knows how to take care of his baby. If he doesn't know how to do it, he's a fool. So, you, if you are normal, you can't follow a fool. You are spending much of your energy following fools. Leaving you with a child that is biological to him, it means that this person is a fool. So for the rest of your life, you are keeping on looking 